is helping with the students on the property of natural logarithm and I wanted to share some shortcuts. Let's get started. The analysis looks something like this. Logarithm in general are very powerful because they can turn add multiplication and division actually into add and subtract for example log of a times b becomes two logs adding each other and it can turn exponentials into multiplication so in essence what log is really able to do is remarkable in that it reduces order of operation that you need to work on so let's take a quick look at how we go about solving this one and write up the solution All right, so solution looks something like this. I have two natural logs adding each other. I'm going to use reverse of the property here. When I have two logs adding, the two numbers where I'm trying to take a log off is actually, in fact, you multiply. So I'm going to take this chunk and this chunk and multiply them per this property of logarithm here. Now, from this step to next step, the quickest the shortcut is really just to go ahead and gather all the exponents of x, x square roots, which is really x to the half, division means subtract 1, and over here, x squared, and then the 1 quarter, again, it's the fourth root over here, this is 1 quarter, I'm multiplying because 2 times 1 fourth is really a half here. And distributing this one quarter into the exponents over here, I have e to the one quarter. This is by far the easiest way I've found over the years to teach students so that you can avoid a mistake over here. Because all you really have to do is grab each one of the terms and dealing with the exponents for each one of them. This way you don't have any mistakes or a chance to make a mistake, I'm hoping. Anyway, so moving on over here, it turned out this one to be x to the 0, which is 1. And then e to the quarter here, I'm going to have 1 times e to the quarter, which is natural log of e to the quarter. Using the second property reversely, in that if I have, not reversely, actually forward. If I have exponents, this exponents gets dropped in the front. I have a multiplication in, instead of exponentials. Doing the same thing over here, the exponents get dropped in the front, natural log of e is really equal to 1. So the final answer is 1 fourth. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment or share this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.